10 years ago, if you would have asked me what career would I be pursuing, I would have told you football player, sports agent, coach, businessman, or teacher. Never in my wildest imagination would I find out that I'd be in a hip-hop or music period. But when you fall in love with something, you know it right then and there. I've experienced that feeling twice in my life. Music and the birth of my son Jacob. Everything happens for a reason. But to get to know my music, you got to get to know me first. Growing up, I was just like any other kid. Playing with friends, sports, and video games consumed my life. In fact, music was never a big part of my life. That was until high school when some of my friends' music started to influence me. One of my uh, uh, first musical experiences was actually Bone Thugs and Harmony, uh, Meet Me at the Crossroads. Uh, that was the first hip hop song I've ever heard. And, uh, you know, it was kind of weird at first because I never, I was raised up in a, a Christian home. Actually, uh, when I first started rapping, I was a gospel rapper when I first started. Uh, I went by the name of uh, Firstborn. Times changed and I became more into the industry and everything, and I began to learn more things and, uh, as far as hip hop. So uh, I, I, I dumped the name Firstborn and I became, you know, myself, Mike Hill. Mike took a lot into music in his uh, high school days. He would, uh, uh, just um, familiar, familiarize himself with the tones and beats and I started noticing that uh, he was really getting into music. It was at this time you can say I had a calling in my life. I soon became infatuated by music. <laughs> School almost became a backseat to this new lifestyle. Music consumed my life. Whether I was writing it, freestyling with friends, making beats, or flowing by myself. My parents recognized this new love of mine, and with their support, I vowed I would make a name for myself in the hip hop scene. His artistic um, desire is to um, really dominate the. <laughs> Number one, baby. I'm gonna change Houston's rap scene. That's my goal. I'm like this black Michael Jackson, I move from white crowds. They slow down. If you ballin' with Mike Hill, they might foul. But like me, you don't never give a fuck. So since you rollin' with your boy, you gon' never spend a buck. Wow, I'm so sick of the book life. I broke stride, wind on my back, now a nigga feelin' the ghost ride. That's white ride, no top speed, boy. Smoke like, make life so easy. Does your family support you 100%? Uh, nah, nah, they don't, they don't, they, uh, they support me 120%. You know, they got my back. They, they know I have it in me to be successful. So, they support me. My family supports me. When Michael first started music, I really encouraged him to go after his heart. If that's his passion, go for it. Well, he did. He took my car and drove it in the, in the ditch to do a video. <laughs> that was one funny thing that he did. I mean, he he takes it to heart. I mean, he really gets involved in it. Knowing where I came from and who I am will always keep me grounded. I am by no means naive. And I know that breaking into any media industry is one of the hardest things a person can do. It can entail making many sacrifices and taking jobs that are not too pleasing. Uh, no. Uh, I'm not financially where I want to be. Where I want to be, uh, you know, every even the richer one gets rich, you know. Uh, you know, I believe, you know, with a little bit more help, you know, I'll be in a better place where I think I am right now. So, what kind of work are you doing right now? Uh, right now, I am a waiter at Denny's Restaurant. Regular Joe. That make, that can make some good music. I could be doing something else greater with my life right now. Um, I went to school. I didn't go to school become, to become a server. Uh, it's just something right now to make ends meet, you know, paying the bills, but, you know, right now, being a waiter isn't the greatest thing in the world, especially uh, the goals that I have. But, uh, you know, I'm still doing my job every day, you know, uh, working hard at Denny's, you know, still serving the Grand Slams. You know, we're, in 10 years, I'll see us on top of Houston. You don't want to be working here no more, right? Well, no, excuse my language. Idiots. Yeah. I came up with the bitch, but then.
<laughs> bacon bonanza at dinner. <laughs> bacon on a Sunday. Man. Who the hell comes up with bacon on a Sunday? On ice cream. Bacon on ice cream? That's gotta be the most terrible thing. They'll become all the Yeah. Oh, what you want? You want dessert or breakfast? <laughs> Come on, now. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas at Dinner's got it's confused as hell. <laughs> I'm just like any other man. I have a dream to be great at something. And that something is music. With hard work and perseverance, I will succeed and I will accomplish my goals. What's success mean to you? Success is, 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 a, is a reached goal. It could be anything in the world that you, that you uh, set your mind to and you achieve. From what I've become, uh, yes, I, I consider myself su successful. Uh, but I'm not done yet. I'm not successful until I have the whole world listening to my music. People who talk down on me, who don't believe in me, who don't think I'm gonna make it or whatever, I push myself to the limit to, uh, you know, overcome them. And that, that's the fuel to my fire. You know, keeps me am ambitious. I see myself, you know, doing this for a long time. The music is in me. Somehow it's in me, and it's never gonna stop. I can't see it never stopping. Uh, I, I wanna, I, I wanna become an artist, not just a rapper. What pressure do you feel right now going into? Uh into your music. What's life without pressure right now? You're always going to have pressure, no matter who you are. Whether you're a top dog or you're a scrub, you're always going to feel pressure. If there wasn't no pressure, then there would be no success. Music refers a simple mind to the wonders of life. It should be expressed through your thoughts, actions, feelings, past, present, spiritual, and through your human experiences. Hip-hop is a freedom of speech through rhythmic beats and sounds, and if you listen closely, there's a message and story to be told, whether it's good or bad. Whenever I make a song, I feel like, you know, I have to tell something. I feel like I have to express something. My music, my kill music, is, is, is made for different kind of mo moves. He got all moves, for, he got moves for every occasion, let's say that. Okay. He got the dance, he got the series, he got the this, that, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you want to just, uh, if you if you feel like going out to the club with your friends or whatever, I'm gonna make that music. If you feel like, you know, you're having a bad week or something's not going right or, or you're depressed or something, I'm gonna make that music. You know, if you feel like, you know, you know, you're in a classy mode, you know, everything's going right, you know, you have money in your pocket, you know, you feel like going out with your girl or whatever, I'm gonna make that music. Uh, his style of music, once he's discovered, um, Definitely, definitely hit the top of the charts. Uh, hip hop uh, is pretty much similar to poetry. You add a beat to it, you add a rhythm to it, and you add a rhyme to it, and you put all those uh, elements together, and you got hip hop. Uh, I like to mix both of those together. I like to actually talk about subjects, you know, uh, write poem, write, write poems, and, and, and mix it in with uh, today's culture. Hip hop cannot be formed without poetry. Poetry is hip hop, so I mean, there, there's no way you could uh, separate those two. Uh, freestyling is something that you feel that, that that's born into you. Uh, you don't learn freestyling; it's already there. Coming up with words and sentences and uh, lines and bars uh, uh, off the top of your head without thinking, without anything written, without anything practiced before. In order to be a hip hop artist or a rap artist, you don't necessarily need to uh, know how to freestyle but you do have to learn the concept of it. Uh, freestyling is an art. Makes me want to freestyle. Sexy That's it right there. This is how my song tastes so good. You're so brown, that means you so hood. Pull up with coke, anything, my care. When most people hear the word rapper, the first thing that pops in their head is fancy cars, big chains, seducing women, thugs, and the ghetto. The way you present yourself on the mic is the way people can determine what kind of person you are. If I had to describe Mike in one word, man, I'd probably just be ever changing. I would say just great. I'm bald, man. <laughs> My camera's going bald. Oh, you. He's just a great person. <laughs> Mike, take, take off that. Hell no, take off that. Watch out, bro. My kale is getting bald right around this area. That's why I wear so many hats. 
was constantly just like, you know, on the move, just, you know, ever changing, but, you know, ever changing for the good, you know. Some people be changing for the negative or backtracking in life, but, you know, it's just a positive movement right there with Mike. I try to surround myself with good, genuine people. They see my vision, my potential, and my dream. Because of this, I could go to them for advice. I mean, you just got to go after it. You just got to be hungry, you know, like, it's hunting season, you know. I mean, try to get your stuff on the radio, get them YouTube plays, you know, different things like that that's, you know, going get, to gonna get you more exposure. Just got to keep pushing music, make a whole other album, make it better, market it, make a video for it, invest some money in it. Just take some coordination, man. I think his music is great. I think he just needs the right people behind him to 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 get to where he should be. It's all about your drive, really. How you believe. You're gonna push yourself and your opportunities. When they come, you gotta grab them. You gotta you gotta put yourself, present yourself to everybody. Everybody possible. Anytime you come in contact with somebody, you gotta let them know, hey, this is what I do, this is what I'm trying to do, this is what I'm trying to be. It's important. In the music industry nowadays, uh, there's no real captivating way to get your music out there unless you discover. Now, you know, knocking on the radio doors and trying to get them to play your music or getting it into the right hands, uh, believing that you're going to be in the right place at the right time and hook up with the right person is instrumental in getting your music out there. I mean, but if uh, you can get a, a, a radio announcer, a DJ, to, to spin your music, it's on. I mean, if it's good, which I think is it's good. Life is precious, and so is my son Jacob. I would do anything in the world for him, and he has a family that would do the same. You could say that I'm a proud father and a better man because of him. He's special. He's my world. He's my little boy, and I love him. Well, that's my first grandbaby, and I <laughs> am so excited about little Jacob. Um, it was a surprise, and we're we're glad that it happened. But at the same time, um, timing is everything. Michael is has shown has proved to be a great father. And can I get the picture of the baby? Show it to you. Yeah, there you go. Here we are. You tell me, see any similarities? I haven't seen. If you saw his baby picture, <laughs> you would say that he looks just like him. You know that um, he is destined to be a great father and has proved himself already to be a great father. So this is your son? Yeah, that's 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 little Jacob. It's little Jacob Caleb. Yeah, that's my son right there. I've seen Mike with his son and I can see, you know, the father and son relationship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you can tell he really cares about his son and loves him to death. That's him. Do we look alike? <laughs> Everybody say he's like a light skinned version of me. So I don't know, it's kind of funny. I never really knew uh, anybody else who looked like me, except maybe Dave Chappelle. <laughs> a lot of good things that's been happening ever since he's been born. You know, I've become a better man, uh, being you know a lot more responsible. As far as you know, focusing on the, on the more important things in life, rather than just you know go out and do things I used to do when uh, you know I had no responsibilities. He's my main priority, so I have to take care of him. All right, this is me and Jacob. We're about to do the robot. I'm about to bust it out. Go, Jacob. Go, Jacob. Go. Go, Jacob. Go, Jacob. There you go. Oh, go, Jacob. Go, Jacob. Go. Go, Jacob. Go, Jacob. Go. Bust it To today, I see him again, you know. You know, I reminisce over pictures and videos that I have of him, uh, you know, constantly thinking about him, you know, watching these old little videos that I have of him. Uh, you know, there's not a day goes by or a minute that goes by uh, that, you know, I don't catch myself looking at my phone. I even have him on my phone, you know, as my wallpaper. Um, you know, uh, he's, he's always on my mind, always. I'm always thinking about what's he doing right now. So, you know, from time to time when I get a chance when I'm on my computer, you know, I'll go and, uh, you know, look at stuff like this, you know, when I was, uh, I got to see him and hold him for the first time ever. Uh, he was sleeping at the time and I was looking at him and, you know, I was getting ready to, you know, say bye bye to him, you know, before the first time I met him. And uh, I looked at him and gave him a kiss on his forehead 
And like I said, he was sleeping. But when I gave him that kiss on his forehead and I told him I love you, uh, he smiled while he was sleeping. And that was that was very, uh, very deep. That, that hit me. That touched me in a place. In, no, nothing's touched me before. And, uh, you know, later that day, I went back to my room. I thought at that moment, I actually cried. You know, I broke down and cried because that, that really touched me. And the second most memorable moment that I had with my son is uh, when I was changing his diaper and he crapped and pooped all over the place and he, I, I was like, man, you, I, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, those two so far, it's, it's, it's been great. It's been great. And uh, it's a lot more memories uh, to come, so I, I can't wait. It must be really tough though, huh? Yeah. You're so far away. Yeah, it's tough. It's hard. It's real hard. Well, this is my life. Ups and downs, hard work and struggle. I have yet to reach my full potential, but I've gained knowledge through this experience. With my dedication, I will be on top, and the world will hear Mike Hale's music. Man, I work so hard just to live on my life, so ain't nothing gonna stop me from getting the limelight. Get the limelight, get the limelight, get the limelight, get the limelight. Man, I work so hard just to live on my life, so ain't nothing gonna stop me from getting the spotlight. Get the spotlight, get the spotlight, get the spotlight, get the spotlight. The first time I fell in love with music. 17 old school like Buicks Young kid had everything to prove it Only rapper that had nothing for losing So I shoot it, spit my mind I was better than my buddies with every rhyme With every rhyme, Mikey started to shine Transform my wardrobe, clothes design I just wanna live it and I love to being gifted This ain't a